Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain you everything about Facebook's Dime, formerly known as Libra. Before starting this video, scroll down, click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Digital payment is a space with a lot of opportunities. As more and more people are getting access to the internet to cheaper smartphones, much of the economic activity is happening online. Companies like PayPal, Visa and MasterCard are already catering to a lot of this activity. In addition, many projects in the crypto space are also trying to build products for this sector. Unlike other projects, however, Facebook already has a large user base. Well, large may be an understatement. During the third quarter of 2020, Facebook had roughly 2.7 billion monthly active users. This could potentially make their proposed payment system an overnight success. Dime is a blockchain-based payment system proposed by Facebook in 2019. It aims to provide access to financial services to people without a bank account. Some of its founding members are listed as Morgan Baylor, David Marcos, and Kevin Will. The launch was originally planned to be in 2020, but it was pushed to due to various reasons and is likely to happen in 2021. Dime to be governed by Dime Association, which is an independent membership organization headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. The members are made up of several companies from the blockchain, technology, payment, telecommunication sector, venture capitalists, and non-profits. The members of Dime Association are responsible for governance decisions. Overseeing the operation of Dime's payment system, the project being built on top of Dime blockchain and providing grants. Facebook aims to have 100 members in this association by launch. Well, Dime is a blockchain and it does use cryptography technology. However, the term cryptocurrency usually implies specific properties that Dime doesn't have. In short, as far as Dime is concerned, it would be more accurate to call it a digital currency. The Dime blockchain is a permission blockchain that forms the backbone of this payment system. We often talk about blockchains such as Bitcoin or Ethereum are permissionless. This means that anyone with an internet connection can freely access them, transact with them or build on top of them. However, this isn't the case with permission blockchain. To use it, you'll need permission from whoever is controlling the blockchain. Or more specifically, the applications you use will need special access. Dime being permission blockchain also means that it won't use mining or staking for validating transactions like many other blockchain. Instead, it will rely on a setup of permission validators to validate transactions. According to its creators, Dime may transition to a proof-of-stake system after the first five years. However, this is long time in such nascent space, so why not use proof-of-stake from the beginning? They explain their points in the Dime white paper according to their outlook. No permissionless system currently exists that could support billions of people transacting on them. According to many in the blockchain space, permission blockchain can't be as decentralized as their permissionless counterparts as they resemble more of the traditional corporate database. In this sense, Dime isn't censorship resistant like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. Since these validators need to be members of Dime Association, the network could end up being relatively centralized. On the other hand, controlling and vetting what applications can interact with the distributed ledger can have its subsides. For example, it may be easier to exclude malicious applications as scams. By now, it's evident that Dime and Bitcoin are fundamentally different and could very well coexist in the future. While both may be considered digital payment system, they aim to serve different use cases. Bitcoin is decentralized censorship resistant cryptocurrency that often acts as type of reserve asset or store of value. Dime on the other hand is a proposal that relies on permission network that suggests a more centralized model.
Facebook has faced some criticism following Dime's original announcement, especially from central banks, lawmakers, and regulators. It remains to be seen whether they can put all necessary building blocks together to make Dime a success. Dime is a payment system proposed by Facebook. It's based on permission blockchain that expect to power an ecosystem for digital payment and other financial services. Its currency called Dime Dollar will be backed by a basket of stable coins and is set to launch in 2021. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video.